tailgate of a pickup eating a packet of crisps and you were looking at an opal of scone <laughs> They're all having a go, which is good. Yeah. Fiddling yeah. around, yeah. going up yeah. 20 mile an hour. It's lovely. Really. <laughs> Adam. Nice to see you. Louise Buckland, hey? Yeah. Now, Sophie Louise, for anybody who doesn't know, it's actually one of our marshals here at Wiscombe. We won't say too much about that one. <laughs> <laughs> but she, uh, she, she's a great ambassador for motorsport for young people. Seven going off now, which is uh, David Llewellyn. Is that David Llewellyn? Yes, that'd be David. Uh, that. Right, and then behind Sting. Uh, uh, sorry, his uh, Opal Ranter is downhill, so that's uh, Jimmy McRae in the ex Russell Brooks Andrews Heat for Hire. Up to 400, so they're coming down every 30 seconds behind with her daughter in the car in that beautiful, beautiful white, ordinary white escort. Louise, how lovely to see you it was last night. So she's not actually a hill climb car, but she did her best. <laughs> right, well, it's lovely to see you ladies together out enjoying your day. Nice bit of sunshine. <laughs> Uh, the patron, you might say, the patron of several of these Audis that are here today. How lovely to see him in a genuine uh, colour scheme of the Audi uh, Quattro of that period. Uh, that's tricked out. Behind it, number 10. Number 10 is Graham Butler and Mark Butler in, again, it's supposed to be an Escort World Rally car, but that is not an Escort World Rally car. <laughs> the programme says it's an X. Um, an X-1980-1997, sorry, car. Well, it's not. That's at a uh, Carlos Sainz Escort World Rally car, it ain't here this weekend. And that's the, that's the point about this event. If someone can't bring a car, they've usually got another one in the garage, next to it, behind it, cross it passing me. Number 12. And number 12 is... Uh, I can't pronounce this, but Ruben Borjesson, Borjesson from Sweden, in a... Uh, in a, uh, an X-Works Triumph TR7 V8. Well, that it has survived. Not, not many cars have survived the 1970 World Cup, I can tell you. Wow. They were arduous events, weren't they? So, but that is very definitely a short wheelbase Quattro. And they sound wonderful. Doesn't that, doesn't that Quattro short wheelbase sound wonderful? Oh, Behind it then, as we say, not running in any particular order, but 14 is uh, 14 is Julie. It is what it says it is in the programme. <laughs> yeah. Behind it, uh, number 15, that is uh, uh, Steve Ward uh, with Ian Parry of X Castle. Of X Castle. Uh, rolling down immediately behind it. Just gone out of my sight. Um, this is Tim Clark and he's been a regular hill climber here over the years with his quattro, so he knows his way up at Wiscombe quite well. same of course it's only the engine that's different mm. number 19 and where are you Dave are you coming I'm, down here I'm wandering back down we right. jolly good and, and then Puff, Puff, Puff is on the way past Puff. hello dears good morning again hello Puff is still alive Puff is now f f f f 48 years old which is nearly as old as the driver indeed. yes but that in, indeed is the is number 26 which is the uh, which is indeed the Peter Clark car uh, and, uh, where is it, David? Yes, David, David actually is driving it. Peter Clark is on the event in his own car, by the way. Mm, yes, uh, he's running at 25, isn't yeah. he? A tribute car, TR7. 29 is... Tim, uh, is Tim Green. Yep, Tim Green. Yeah. And uh, with Melanie Green, his partner, I guess, mm. in a TR7 V8. Behind that, oh look, a big Healy, but not a works car, but probably in very good condition nevertheless. Mm. And 17, 14, a GT just running past us. I said it's not a bit breathless. It should be uh, Al Pinston. Paul, Paul's a... Uh, Paul Pinston, uh, indeed. Yeah, from Exeter. He's uh, been a regular cold, uh, regular driver in the southwest. Used to have a sunbeam in the old days. Escort, <laughs> I'll tell you. Yeah. 
formidable machine, very strong, front wheel drive, very strong. But in the 1970s he lived in this country and uh, he uh, was a, a, an RS2000 Group 1 competitor who's good, he was very good. Now, Dave Pierce promised me a start off. So. Graham, there's a Stratos on the horizon. Oh dear. <laughs> Excuse me, ladies and gentlemen, I will drool over the Stratos. You know that. You know Robson and Stratos is. Desi McCartney is unwell, so I'm driving the car instead. My name's Robin Air Mansell. Oh, we've heard about Yeah, there is. Actually, it's going to be in a year's time. It'll be great, wouldn't it? Especially if he, he gets, you know, the weather like we've got today and everything else. It'll be a, a fantastic sort of thing to happen every year, wouldn't it? Yeah. So there he is, popping down to the start line. So if you've never been in a, in a 6R4, where would you put the shopping in the, in yeah, the yeah. metro? You go back several times. The actual RAC in 75. So it's amazing these people, you know, have come out to see us, isn't it? So what's your memories from back then of rallying? Uh, too, too, too many to sort of remember back then. The scenery standards were very quick. They're very used to the British standards. John Stengel's still with us, but living in Hawaii. Uh, John Stengel made that car famous, made that model famous. The top 200 after day one. Then did um, uh, well, five days and three nights, um, starting in York, coming right the way down here, um, running up into Scotland. And Number 71. So, uh, Hugh, Dav Hugh Davis from West Wales. Hugh Davis and Cyril Reese. So it says escort. By the way, it's in the programme as an escort, so yeah. there you go. But it is actually followed by an escort. This is one of the stars in my life, I can tell you. Uh, and Dave, you're going to have trouble. Ask her a question and stand back. To say the least of it. No, but you see, Joe, her mum started me in my rally life, and that's why, and she couldn't come to the book lodge, and uh, so we arranged that we would meet here for a short while. <laughs> <laughs> nice to see you. So I'll get back out of the way and let everybody get a few pictures of Rosemary. Not forgetting Rosemary's co driver, Dave Watkins, who owns that car. Yeah. Gorgeous. Lovely car, isn't it? Yeah, not too bad. Um, a bit. Um, a bit rough on the dual carriageways with the vibrations and stuff, but um, yeah, good day. So, I think we were, have we got a clear start line down there, Graham? So, here we are. No. We got Tony Folks. Peter Clark's a good friend of mine just going past the company, the, uh, the unit. Nice to see you, Peter. PCA, of course, Peter Clark Autos. That was his company in Skipton in Yorkshire, and I was born and bred near Skipton. PC. I'm ever so pleased to be here, and sitting in this car again, uh, this Mercedes that we drove way back in uh, 1977 and 1976. It's a big car, isn't it, to throw around? At the top of the hill. He's died at the top of the hill, and the message he sent down to us, if, if Mr. Vertigan is here and can hear us, if Mr. Vertigan can hear us, can he please go up to the top of the hill and sort out the Healy as we can go up the top of the hill to meet Peter Gilbert with the Austin Healy 3000 that's died, we shall all be happier. Uh, me, I'm very happy because I've just seen a yellow camera registered <laughs> Stratos go past. That's what I was going to say to you, it's coming down soon. But they're starting to come through again now, which is quite nice. Two good replicas about. That car you'll find will have aluminium panels, it'll have air vents in the side, it'll have a lot of horsepower, and that's a replica TR4, and that is number 17. It's got, uh, as you say, Roger Platt, not, not Roger Platt, what, I'm, what am I saying? Number 77, Peter Barker driving it. He's an author now. He writes in, uh, he writes in Old Stage a Magazine quite a lot. Peter Barker, Willie Cave, who's 91 yeah. and still co-driving, bless him, and he's in the TR4. And they've actually got down as the driver being Nick Taylor, but it is the same 1980s RAC car. Indeed we have, and I'm talking about the wrong, the wrong Celica. There are two <laughs> Celicas, so that is Nick Taylor, and I apologise to no, him. Right. I'm sure he'll let you off.
So a nice and steady trickle of cars now. Flat caps and tweed jackets look lovely. The, the names on the side don't, don't match either. So it may have been a, a reserve entry. Oh, I do now, yes. So that is the genuine extract, Valdegard Salika, I got it wrong, I apologise for it, 57, Nick Taylor, the, the ex-Valdegard, 1980, uh, RAC rally, that, that car led... Jill's going to say a few words about uh, how her day's going. It's a bit bumpy, that track down to here. <laughs> Bone shaker. Yes, well in 76 they ran it the other way and that was run competitively uphill, so you're probably happier to come down it as a bone shaker a bit gently. So have a good time, nice to see you both, and see you again. So that's Pauline Gullick and Jill Robinson in this one, Pauline in the passenger seat. I go a little bit quicker to catch up with her, Pauline uh, and Jill Robinson, I'm sure you will, you'll get together at lunchtime again. Yeah. If you sit and chat to Pauline over lunch or something, she's so much experience, hasn't she? I mean, she sat with Michelle Mouton in the Quattro. You're for not a while. allowed to say girl and experience, <laughs> Dave. Um, knowledge is better, I think. Okay, all right. <laughs> but yes, a considerable. She's been around a considerable time, and she knows a lot, and she's full of full of knowledge. Yeah. yeah. Never good on the RAC, was it? Uh, was it, Dave? No, I, I do remember there was once. I believe it was actually uh, Hanno Mikola when they were interviewing him on the telly. Survivors from London, Sydney, 1968. You tell the story. I think you'll find it's 124. Is this 124? I'm just having a look. I think it may well be. No, it's 72, actually. So again, number... Se 72. It's not a Mini Cooper. So there you go. You can have, it, you can it, have what you like, but that is not the car it's supposed to be. Here's a famous car coming through now. The Dolomite Sprint. Ah, the real one lasted only about the first three days of the World Cup Rally. It never actually got out of Europe. How long was the World Cup Rally in those days? Can How long in, in days? mileage? For, for Jeff wandering back to his car at the moment, but he uh, doesn't appear to be appearing at the moment. I understand Ray Radford's on his way, but Jeff heading this way now. So, uh, let's go and have a, a quick... Chapter a sec. Graham Robson's doing it. He rallied across way back in the early 1970s and he's been too one of my stars ever since. Too long ago. <laughs> <laughs> nice to see you, Graham, anyway. Enjoy yourself for the rest of the day. Thanks, thanks that, Jeff. Enjoy the rest of your run. Park garage in Axbridge, which isn't too far from here. Quarter to four. First car, first car to get to Axbridge at quarter to four. Give you time to potter off, have a pub lunch somewhere and see all these cars again. And the the London uh, Mexico replica Triumph has just gone down the hill past me. You, also, I think I would head for Cheddar Gorge because it, it belongs. I believe it belongs to uh, the Marquis of Bath in Longleat Estates. Ah. So uh, you know, there's always a chance that one day somebody will succeed in running something up there. It was interesting last night at the briefing. Tim Nash was start charging her if you're late. <laughs> yeah. You wouldn't want to be paying, would you? <laughs> yeah. Oh, of course, if you, want, if you wanted to see the animals, it'd be all right, wouldn't it? You know, you could you know, park your car up and go and watch the uh, tigers and the You see light. the animals here, they've got microphones. <laughs> yeah. Three and uh, 53, making lovely Mark 1 escort noises. 53 is uh, Stuart Mason from Hampshire in, uh, that'll be a twin cam, I think, although I'm, I'm not betting anything, but it's, uh, it's looking <laughs> just as good as Mark 1s tend to do. <laughs> I'm yeah, behind that. There's number 88 that's coming down past me now, which is Morris Maynard and Phil Maynard. Morris used to sponsor the uh, Somerset Stages rally in many years ago. In other words, in 1970. Uh, I'm now up here with Yvonne Meta. Oh, hey, Yvonne, so lovely to see you over here. You've come a long way to be here today, haven't you? Uh, yeah, no, maybe it's a bit far away. No, this is its uh, first event, at least with me, so it's uh, been a good shakedown and uh, got to get it running around here, a bit of motorway, a bit of stages, so, you know, good, uh, good test run for it all. The car, the same for me, um, when we uh, were close to completing the car, so yeah, absolutely, it's, it's a magical weekend for me. Street. Oh, that's good. Well, enjoy the rest of your run. They've got a stereo in it, Graham. Yeah. 
What we didn't say about Paul Faulkner, by the way, is he was a considerable rally driver, successful driver himself in escorts and things in the 70s. And uh, he's very modest about it, but he was very, very good indeed. And his father, Ron Faulkner, before him, was the British trials champion way back in the 1950s. And I, I, I heard the comment about the amount of 400. Very smart car, of course. Very smart indeed. TR7, Ross, mm -hmm. Coop, Ross Cooper in Gloucestershire. And now what have we got? Uh, is that an Avenger Tiger? It is, it is an Avenger Tiger. It's number 119, which nope. is Geffen Vaughan Lewis. And the sort of work style as was, uh, Mike Dale, Mac Dore has it now. The sort of car that was competitive in the hands of the Tony Pons and the Panty Rickers of this world. Also just come into sight down here, and uh, it's quite nice and quite rare, is a Lancia. Um, the old Lancia Fovia, running at number 90. Martin Wolf. Don't uh, lose the uh, um, the news. In fact, that Lotus Fortuna might look like a sort of powder puff car. It won the RAC rally in 1966. Um, how much down there, Graham, on the start line now? Uh, we have about uh, three cars in the oh, line-up, okay. and the Beetle, you've just unleashed the Beetle to come down number 70, passing me, that being Paul Dickinson from Bristol, again, a local man, I guess, almost, mm. that counts, in a VW, VW 1302 Beetle. Uh, now, we have about, what, three or four, five cars on the start line. The stage is still in full flow, so obviously the, the one break... And he loved the RAC rally, yeah. and he always, you know, he was taken from us far it's, too early. He it, wanted to do some more. Yeah. Right, and this is another uh, Chevette HS, number 30, number 30. My dear chap, you've done better than me, I forgot. <laughs> I like the registration number, I recognise it. Yeah. I think Jimmy probably saw that in the hotel last night. Another strike, good heavens. I never thought we'd see another one today. <laughs> 111 is Andrew Vickery from D Dorset. Of course, the other thing you totally did, which is one had a chrome trim down the middle of the bonnet and one didn't. Smart now I've got number 99, which is not what it says in my programme, because it says... 1989, did loads and loads of rallies back in there, very three various hands, so it's a 165 GT, GT4. And, and very nice it looks too. And you got it in the security hall livery, which is probably was in the day, was uh, No, it's, not, it's Tom's name, it's Tom, uh, Tom's name himself on the side. But nevertheless, an ex, an ex David Sutton Escort, will be a formidable quick car of its period, I can tell you. It, oh, it, look what you've got to talk about. Yes. Yeah. It, it, it's a BMW i8. Now, I'm sorry to lean across you. Yeah. Are you enjoying your day as well? Yeah, I love it. Yeah, yeah great fun. And I expect this is much quieter than the rest of the cars as well, isn't it? That has program. This is George Anderson, Barry Clark. Today. Say, where's, where's the wing? Where's the wing? But the wing um, is huge, absolutely enormous thing. But they ran them back in South Africa, back that in the 70s. That's so weird, it's wing. silent. It's smaller than the car. Over the years, uh, I first saw it at Chatsworth House a few years ago. Um, it is a very, very nice looking car and makes lots of noise. And they sponsored uh, David Llewellyn's cars, which Phil Collins built, and that's what this is a tribute to. And I'm sure, I'm sure it's worth mentioning that much of the underpinnings of an H H120 were used in the Andrew Cowan Hunter that won the London City Marathon.